channel um gonna do a little different today i actually never do a rave video like um a video raving a product ever before and this is actually my first time um actually making this kind of video and i'm just in love with this product that i just recently purchased like a day or two ago and i don't know i'm just like it's instant love i love it so much um i don't know it's very compatible with one of my favorite and uh the product that I'm talking about is my new foundation and it's the Chanel um, Matte Lumiere I hope I pronounced that right um, it's long lasting soft matte makeup with SPF 15 and surprisingly this is a full coverage foundation and my number if you wonder is 40 I doubt it's gonna focus but 40 um, in beige uh, I love this makeup. Um, I purchased this at the uh, my Macy, the what is Chanel uh, section, and the lady matched me up with the color and stuff. And it's just like she put it on. It just blend with my like um, my skin tone perfectly. I just love it. I just love the scent. Um, if you're into foundation that would like a a scent, I would would think you would love this but if you're a, not a kind of like fragrance type of um, person then I wouldn't recommend because the scent is kind of strong it's not like crazily strong that drive you nuts but it smells really nice but it's also linger I like I applied this on an hour ago and I still could smell like I could scent like the with the smell of the foundation so I would say that if you're not, uh, you don't like scent and stuff, so I wouldn't recommend this at all. And the reason why I picked this up instead of the new Aqua uh, foundation stuff because it's light. Uh, what is it? It's light to medium coverage. And to me, I feel like if I'm going to purchase a foundation and I'm going to spend so much money on it, I want a foundation that is full coverage, uh, medium to full or else full coverage. I wouldn't want... A foundation that is just like really light and stuff because I feel like I might as well you know just buy tinted moisturizer there's no point in me getting a light foundation uh, whatsoever so I'm like it's pointless that's the reason why I pick up this and another reason is most of you guys know that I have um, combination uh, oily skin well I do get dry but more to towards like the oily side so I always get like foundation that's oil free and this is oil free and I don't know I don't know how to describe it I just love it so much like it's like like I said it's my it's like love at first sight I don't know how to describe it um I feel like I like this a lot more than my HD um Makeup Forever foundation and that was my holy grail foundation no matter what I always go back to it but I was kind of bored of it and I want to like find a different foundation and I purchased the Bobbi Brown like in my last video um, I show you guys and I don't like it because it's not full coverage and it's just I just don't like the smell I just don't like the how it look on my face it's just not good overall so I didn't really like it so I want to try something else and I didn't want to try the NARS sheer glow because I did try it and that's the reason why I chose the makeup forever over the NARS and so I want and I was like you know what I'm gonna try the Chanel like I know uh, Chanel is very high-end it's very expensive but I was like you know what if it's gonna be for my face I think it's worth uh, spending and especially if it works I'm definitely gonna spend on it and here's the packaging I show you guys and here's the bottle how pretty is that and this is a fluid um, ounce 30 milliliter it's pretty it's a Chanel right there and then the logo and then on the bottom it say 40 beige I doubt you guys can see it I just really really love the packaging it's so sleek it's definitely um, very uh what is it very heavy because I believe it's glass and when you open it there's a pump how cute is that 
and this is very convenient to me it's very very convenient um i don't like the one that you open up and then you have to like dip it or pour it so it, i just feel like you know it's just very unsanitized and stuff and then sometimes i pour too much it's just a waste this is like one pump is all i need and i just really really like it and um i show you how it looked like on my hand and that's the foundation and that's how you blend see how it how it blends so easily and just blend right into my skin tone i just love 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 and the smell is just so good i feel like it smells so rosy flowery i really like like the scent a lot and i don't know overall i just I just fall in love with this foundation as soon as I put it on. Um, it's definitely, uh, when you apply it on, you feel like, oh my god, it's it's so oily and stuff, but then absorb into your face very quickly, and it gives you that matte finish instead of like, you know, dewy finish. Um, when you have oily skin, you tend to want uh, to have like a matte finish more than a dewy finish because then you're going to look more like oily and it's just gonna look it just is not gonna look right it's just like you could like fry an egg on your face <laughs> so i don't like that at all so i like the matte finish um foundation a lot so i'm in love with this foundation i used it for two days already and i just really love it, it can didn't break me out because i have very sensitive skin so i usually try the foundation first and then if i like it then i'll probably purchase it but something about this foundation that i just love and all I, it's like all you need is a little go a long way it just gives you that really nice um matte finish it cover like 95 percent of your, like, your your acne your scars any like dark circle or blemishes just with just like foundation on with just like applying this on you didn't really have to do concealer whatsoever and let's talk about the pricing uh, this gotta be like the most expensive liquid foundation I ever own um, because I guess the most expensive one was just my makeup forever but that was nothing compared to this this is $54 um, in Macy plus tax is um, $57, $58 so that's a lot for foundation but um, I kind of think you know it's worth it because I really like it and it just make me look really nice it's just like this it looks so natural and light it does not look cakey whatsoever so that's the reason why I don't mind spending that much on this foundation whatsoever uh, so my thought of it I love it so if you have a chance go out and try it um, like get pick up a sample of it try it test it out and see how you like it because I would recommend this foundation and especially if you're looking for a matte finish foundation this is the one in my opinion I really like it and um, at the end of the video I'm gonna have a little demo for you guys so check on the demo and uh, see how I look on my face uh, when I apply it on without anything under no concealer whatsoever so um, and yeah be prepared because I have nothing on in the demo meaning my face <laughs> I have like I didn't put any makeup or anything on it's just my bare face with my moisturizing stuff so I hope you guys enjoy the demo and I hope you guys give this product a try because I'm in love with it and I hope it worked for you guys as well as it worked for me so um, I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye so I'm gonna show you guys a little demo uh, of how I'm gonna apply the Chanel uh, Matte Lumiere uh, foundation on my face and how it's gonna look. I'm not gonna do half side of my face so that you guys can see the comparison, and then I'm gonna do um, what is it? And then I'm gonna do the whole face and stuff for you guys to see. Um, and I'm just using the Elf um, what is it foundation brush, and I use this. Um, I can use it with powder. I can use it with liquid. Um, I think it's really good. I'm waiting for my sick of like what is it Sigma Max? Is it Sigma Max face brushes? I don't know. The the, the new uh, HD uh, brushes. So I hope it's gonna come in by this week because I ordered it since last week and I really want to get it so I can use it and stuff. But yeah, anyways, let's get on. Um, like I said, all I applied was moisturizer. Didn't put anything on my face yet. So I'm just going to take a little. 
I'm gonna dab it on my hand so that it warm it up on my hand. And then I'm gonna apply it. I'm just gonna stipple it on my face first. Then I'll blend out after. And if you guys hear noises, um, please excuse those noise. My next door neighbor is fixing their house or something. And uh, yeah, make so much noise. I couldn't even sleep. All right. So after stippling all this on your face, it's time to blend. Oh my God. You hear that noise? I got so annoyed this morning. Um, this foundation is, like I said, it's full coverage, but, um, it's very, I feel like it's medium to full coverage, and I believe you can really build it up if you want to. And here's this, uh, I already done this half, and I haven't done this half yet. As you can see, this is all my blemishes, my scar and stuff, sorry. Look like crap, but um, and actually it high like 90% of my like darkness, um, blemishes and stuff. So that's, I really like that. And it's, it's really easy to blend. Um, I could just stipple it on like I show you and just like blend it away. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All I need is just one thin layer, and it's just cover, like it gives me a full coverage. I, I I really don't need to put on any concealer. Um, I did not apply any concealer, like I told you, um, in the beginning yet. And I really, honestly, don't think that I need to apply any concealer on with this foundation because it's already like cover like ninety like ninety percent of what um on my scars and my blemishes and stuff. So. I don't think I really love about this foundation so far. So, and as here's how I look. So I hope you guys like this little demo. Don't forget to check out my massive collective beauty haul, and thanks for watching.